things are the economy, education, and then uh, <clears throat> whether we have people in Montgomery that are uh, in there for the right reasons or we have people that are there, uh, you know, are we just changing people that used to have people with D's after names, now with people with R's after their names, but you still have the same issues of uh, careerism and cronyism and those sorts of things. Um, so on the first one, um, as somebody who as a lawyer represents companies, employers, small businesses, I think I understand on the ground level uh, how regulations particularly affect them and can help write legislation in ways that anticipates those things, um, anticipates the sometimes unintended impacts on a business. Um, yeah, education, local control, local control, local control, flexibility at the local level, particularly for our school systems here over the mountain that have earned it by showing they can produce good results. And um, you got to elect the right people uh, to Montgomery, people that are in it for the right reasons and not people that are there to be career politicians. I think the three biggest issues in facing the state of Alabama is number one, corruption, number two, uh, education reform, and uh, and I would also say that number three is uh, attraction of jobs and trying to create uh, the new the new economy, if you will. Uh, I'll start with corruption. I have a zero tolerance against corruption. I think you've got to have that and you've got to have somebody that's outspoken in that regard or you're going to see a situation where people will say, go along, get along, it's, I'm not doing any harm here. And you know, eventually you get to something that's serious as we've seen in Jefferson County. Education reform, we've got to take advantage of all the technology that's available. I agree we've got to set some standards at the state level, but we need to implement uh, local uh, flexibility and control and utilize technology to the greatest extent possible. And, and then finally, I've got a plan to create jobs for District 46 without raising taxes. And I think you've got to have somebody that can step forward and be a leader like that in that regard. Thank you.